would like to be free Call me in the little man Hey there and welcome back to my channel so this week we have a haul from another favorite beauty bay so finally um this is my back friday haul but i just got it like a day or two before christmas so i've only used one product one is a gift next one's for me so one here here go we only got three products quick short video so bam, 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 bam. and this one kind of got screwed up i had to pay duty but beauty bay refunded because it was their fault because they marked everything full price and i didn't know from canada if we buy to the uk we can only buy under 35 dollars before tax and full prices was over but i paid less than that so i was like no 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 so yeah i got my money back thank god so therefore i'm still friends with beauty so um this is what i got her because uh, I did her makeup around Halloween and she she's lighter than me but she's like more bronzer more bronzer and the current bronzer that I have before I got my new one was I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills blush palette and even that bronze it's a bit red on me and it's like I don't know you can only put it on to so much so I got her the Beauty Bay brand and I got her caramel because I would say she's like okay she's pale now so I'd say she's like three shades lighter than me but normally she keeps a 10 therefore she's only two foundations under me so this would be perfect for her so that's what it looks like and uh, I got this on sale I believe for four dollars or 525 and the original price is like 875 next thing I got which is mine which was been in and out of stock for so many months and I didn't want to get from makeup revolution is the makeup Revolution X Tammy Paradise Glow Face Palette. For someone of my skin tone, this comes off like a really cool, like espresso esque. You know what I mean? It. Some people, based on their skin tone, I feel like maybe they had a red undertone. They said it looked gray on them, but I feel like they were a bit darker. Like it wasn't meant for them because on me, I just a little bit, and it was like so dark. So like I would say, this is like a dark espresso if you're around my skin tone. And then this really is the perfect brow. And I feel like today, I haven't seen the video yet, but just from, I've already taken the um, the thumbnail pics, I feel like this has bronze being nice, especially like by my hairline. Like that's where I put a lot. I always put bronzer, but like I put more here because this is where it looks so pale. It's usually makeup, makeup, and then the camera washes off. So I feel like, yeah. I feel right away and I really did like the uh, highlighter because at first I screwed up and I used my elf bite, bite size palettes which I never did a video about but one day I'm just gonna randomly talk about so we can be known I have them and then I it's like the blush was like kind of so glittery and I was like, oh yeah I have this one so I topped it with this one this one actually is a nice like sheer like I just like how it goes on it's not it's just very sheer and you see I just blended it out it melted in the skin so I believe full price this is like 15 Canadian Oop. but I got it for ten dollars and I'm really excited because it's a really good palette and then last item is a palette which I wanted since it came out but I think it's $22 Canadian full price Mwah. and I've seen a lot of people use it but mixed reviews mixed reviews that's why like if it's not a main slang I need to get it on sale even on even amazing stuff I buy on sale and it's the I don't like how the other one has the matching box this one like comes in a plain box to where you can't tell but it's the sunset horizons palette and why I like this one over I think it's like dark magic even though I kind of want to get that because that did have the neutral roll where it had a nice warm sexy brown in the middle and some nice gold why I got this is because ooh, you know what we'll do the youtuber way put the mirror away take out these blues which i probably won't use a lot this is what i kind of bought the palette for so for ten dollars for ten shades this is what i bought the palette for like this i already swatched it this is like a cool like kind of gray brown and then i swatched these i like this one this one it doesn't really have good payoff like the most i would maybe use one day i'm interested in this and maybe this and maybe the dark but otherwise i'm not using this and I'm not using this. They're just not my color tones. I'm not using the red. I only really like orange and yellow. So, and then this actually, some people said it's chalky. I swatched it. That's not that chalky on me. So yeah, I'll pop up. Um, Actually, you know what? I'm not going to pop up swatches because you know what? 
I ordered, but I ordered this in the new year. I ordered another palette. A friend gave me a palette for Christmas. A friend bought me a palette for Christmas. So this with the two Christmas palettes, and I'm waiting for the, the palette I ordered. I ordered it in the new year, like the second or something. It's in transit. When those get there, the four new palettes, I will just show in a video and I will swatch this because you guys have already seen it and yeah, we can just do makeup, makeup then. So yeah, just my quick beauty bay. I'm so excited finally, like I got these two for me, a gift for my cousin, which she'll love and I'm just excited to play with them. So yeah, and yeah. So yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye.